Welcome to the Features Overview of Advanced Message Templates in Online Dating Genie. In a previous video, we took a look at placeholder variables, which would be something similar to this variable here for username, which at runtime gets replaced by the actual user's name. In this video, we're going to take a look at response variables, which an example of that is shown here in this very simple message. The difference between variable placeholders and response variables is that a response variable will actually look for specific information that this user put onto their profile and make a comment based on that very specific attribute. In this example, this message is going to comment on the person's sign. If we open up the variable response manager and go to sign, you can see that we have pre-written comments here for pretty much all the signs in astrology so that every message that is written using the variable response for sign will contain one of these comments. You can do the same thing for sports, in which case we've entered in comments for dancing as well as skiing. You can do the same thing for interests and even city. Let's go ahead and add a new city and let's input the city as Davy. And then let's go ahead and put a response for all people that might live in Davie and we might, what we might say to those people. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. And let's take a look here at a, at a little bit of a more advanced template, which starts with just some generic text, but it's got a couple of these variable responses in here already, uh, specifically commenting on this person's interest, on their sports, and their pets. And let's go ahead and enter one more additional variable for the response for city, and we'll go ahead and insert this into the template. We will save it and insert it into the current message. So you can see that there's four response variables in here that will comment on interest, sports, pets, and city. Now, if we take a look at this person's profile, we can see that all this information has been stored and the program knows exactly what to do with it. So when we view the message for the selected user, we can see that you have your generic opening and closing paragraphs as shown in the message template, but then the interest, the sports, the pets, and the city have all been filled in with details specific to this person's profile. For instance, this paragraph here talks about cooking. This paragraph here talks about our shared love for movies. This paragraph here comments on her interest in nightclubs and dancing. Well, this paragraph here goes into detail about dancing as listed under her sports section. And finally, we make a comment about how we enjoy cats as well. And then here, the response of city is the variable that we just made in which we comment that we think Davy is really cool and it's right down the street. So you can see how easy it is to send extremely detailed messages using a combination of placeholder variables like the person's name as shown here, as well as response variables which fill in various paragraphs depending on what that person actually wrote on their profile. Thanks for watching.